Hi, I'm Lenin, and for the following presentation, I invite you to go to a wonderful place where every year new species are reported for science, a place considered one of the most biodiversity places on the planet, being the most biodiversity place per square kilometer. This place is called Ecuador, and despite all these advantages today, their natural treasures are in danger. The danger that anthropogenic activities destroy natural and pristine areas, that invasive species display several natural species from their habitats, and that diseases such as the chytridomycosis caused by the pity fungus and considered one of the worst diseases of all time for amphibians, continues to spread without any control or monitoring. Moreover, we're also in danger because despite that in the world, the technology and science continue making progress for monitoring and protection of nature. Basic things like barcoding or a normal PCR are limited to very few people in all the country. Today, I want to tell you about a seven day trip with a portable laboratory with my colleagues and the collaboration of expert taxonomists we monitor protected or unexplored ecosystem in the coast, highlands and Amazon of Ecuador. Our main objective was to monitor the presence of BD in one of the population of amphibians that are unique for the tropics and especially a species that was recently rediscovered and is endemic to the south of Ecuador, Atelopus pomolochus. At the same time, we monitor other places where other genera of Atelopus were reported. For that, we collect swaps for barcoding of the species, water samples for environmental DNA. All the methods follow our previous protocols developed and published for this type of samples. Time between the sample collection and the visualization of a pan in an electrophoresis gel were in less than eight hours. Prevalence of PD was detected in the environmental DNA swab and tissue samples in five of the six ecosystems monitored and 12 species in 27 out of 43 individual samples, including three endangered in toad species and the rediscovered Atelopus homologous. Our results highlight the potential of environmental DNA and DNA based monitoring to assess the presence and prevalence of PD in Ecuadorian aquatic ecosystem. In accordance with the National Action Plan for the Conservation of Ecuadorian Amphibians, far more. Our field lab approach leads to reliable and fast results for the monitoring of invasive species in the tropical context of a pandemic. To finish, I would like to tell you that in one of the locations, when we went to a place where there was not internet or phone signal, the local people were excited and enthusiastic about our work, since most of them have never even seen a microscope. However, forest close to the site was recently lodging and cut the ranching began, so our samples were the latest one taken in this environment as well as the population of Atelopus, who were unique for that ecosystem. Thank you for your attention.